What's going on, guys? KG here from the Football Capital and Borche, <laughs> the man's in the studio yeah, with me. He's back. He's back. The A League's back, Kev. The A League is back, Borch. Mate, what a what a what a round of A League. There's a lot that happened. Um, but most importantly, we both got out to the same game on the weekend. <laughs> yeah, mate. Same game multi. Same game multi. <laughs> Went to the same, same game, game multi. multi. Um, yeah, not the best of days, but we'll get we'll get onto that one, I will, guess. We will get into it, but you know what? The A-League kicked off and it kicked off strong. Like in my opinion, it was um there was a lot of noise around around round yeah. one. Um and almost every game delivered with something. Yeah, exactly. And just touching on that, yeah, like Every every season, or especially last season, we we spoke about the the promotion of the game, you know, leading up to the opening rounds. Last year they tried it with the derbies. I know we had the Mel- a, a Melbourne derby this week and the yep. Big Blue as well. Big blue, yep. But last week we had like, you know, obviously the F one, but I got the F one, yeah, F three yeah, derby, F3 derby yep. F three derby, but he got they obviously postponed. F one, they should have played on the. Should have should have played a bit closer to home through the chicanes, mate. But um. Uh, they tried that last season. Maybe it worked. I think there was a decent crowd for opening last season. But I think the promotion, the way they did it this season was a little bit better with the with the kit launches down in Ultra Football. Oh, that was um, great. And Billy Wingrove for the, from the F2. Yep. He was not only here for, for the Perth Glory Wanderers game, he, he's, he was at the Mariners game, the um, the launch. I think, yeah, he was at the launch itself. Um, yep. He was uh, at a few games. The launch of the new stadium. Yeah, as well yeah. As well, uh, there, so. At Sydney FC as well. So, yep. And look, someone someone like him, uh, obviously he was here back in January, uh, ultra football, a bit of an event there. And look, you, this is what this is what the the league needs. You know, you get you get um, people in like him, influencers like him, yep. and um, a lot more eyes as well on the game. So I think yeah. it was good what the A League done uh, this time around, and obviously. Well, that, the A League also made some moves as well, like you know, Lockie from uh, Curse Watch Football. Yeah, he's he's now yep. you know he was on the A League channel on the weekend, um, and he's obviously doing work for Central Coast Mariners. Yeah, um, I know that Sydney FC obviously JD's over there, but they also announced the documentary that they've been doing, yeah, the Sky yeah, Blue yeah. documentary. So there's noise. Michelle from um, the Ladies League, I think she was on the documentary as well. So yep. it's good. It's good to see these content creators. Um, f- I'm not gonna say finally getting noticed, but giving the opportunity because we've all known they're out there. Yeah, and um, and look, it's it's good to it's good to see a lot of them out on working or doing things for the A League or for the for their clubs that they support, which is good. Which yeah, is good. and and the um, boys from RB TV they had a successful um, ten year anniversary for the for the RBB, and they were yeah. there. They were getting interviews with the players, the coaches, and they got a um, uh, interview teed up. Yeah, this with Wednesday. Uh, Jared Carluccio, who's going to be joining them live yeah, on, yeah. on Wednesday. So, so tune in RBTV. Go across to their channel Wednesday night. I'm not sure of the time, but if you go to their socials, they'll, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll make all the, all the information there. But look, Kev, yeah. and we had. Um, oh, we had, we had, I know. Uh, I have to bring it up, Butch. Where you know? But where was the review, Kev? Oh, was the, the preview, A League preview. preview? Where was the A League preview? So look, we did actually do an A League season preview, oh, and it was myself and Brendan Santalab. Um, unfortunately, technical difficulties uh, <laughs> with with some of the audio. We've got all the video, but the audio disappeared. I think um, Santa was on his phone. So um, yeah. I don't know what happened uh, to be exact, but yeah. we lost all the We're audio. <laughs> yeah, I mean, nah, look, look, it was it was on our end. You know what? What can you do? We'll blame it on the Aussie Guna. He was in, in the building. He was, he was in the studio. He was in the studio, so he must be. He must tampering be with the wires. Yeah, yeah, tampering with the wires. But yeah. look, but, it's but, unfortunate but, things happen. But it was good. Like we had sense over the conversation was really good. Um, obviously, we've lined up a few other conversations with some MacArthur people. Um, so yeah, everyone's out there. Everyone's creating some content. It's good. And, good to and see. we're looking forward to an awesome A League season. Um, and to kick it off, a grand final replay, like on, on yeah. a Friday night, which yeah. um, in the preview of the season, I, I sort of, I sort of got to that one last um, because. I was like, hey, look, it's going to be an interesting season for both of these two clubs. And, and in the A-League uh, season preview with Santa Lab, I sort of covered Melbourne all together because they were the driving force of results in terms of the three teams from Melbourne last yeah. season. And to have a grand final replay round one, also also a Melbourne derby. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what? I, I'm not going to say it lived up to the grand final hype, but it, it definitely was a spectacle. Yeah. And... 
Um, for most of us, probably the result we were expecting in the grand final last year, which was a Melbourne exactly, City victory. Exactly right. Yeah, exactly right. And, and you're right about the three Melbourne teams as well. I think even though Western United did lose, and we'll get into that game as well, um, I think they again, like you look at the performances all around this weekend – they're the three teams again to, to watch out for, to be honest. Obviously, we, we didn't get to see the Mariners and Newcastle, but overall, I think, again, out of the 10 teams that did play, them three Melbourne teams are the ones the to watch again. They were the strongest yeah. in terms of performances. But let's get into this um, Melbourne City-Western United game, Kev. Yeah, look, um, as we said, sort of expected in terms of result. Um, Western United, um, from from what I was this, what I was hearing a lot last week was there was a number of players who hadn't done their full preseason, um, namely Prijevic. Yeah. Um, so there's, there was a bit of a you know whether or not he's going to come back or not, and and he was one of the most influential players for them last, last year. Last season, yeah, yeah. So um, probably the result that was expected, uh, you know, and the pressure from Melbourne City was just way too much. First one was um, an own goal. It ended up being an own goal. It was, it was a clearance that they were trying to make off the line. Ended up going into the back of the net. And the second one was Jamie McLaren just pressing at the top of the field. Gets the loose ball and puts it past... Um, oh, who was who was in goals? Was it Young? I, don't, I didn't really... No. It wasn't oh, Young, was it? No, no, no. No, it was. Was it? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so Jamie McLaren puts it in and then um, Western yeah, United get a, get, get a really but late one. you're talking about the own goal there. Like, oh, I had a sh- heller. Like, he had a yeah. shocking game, man. Like... All right, the own goal at, at times there's not much you can do with own goals, but that second one, when you got all the time in the world and he took that touch and it was very maybe it it was Harry Maguire esque. Harry Maguire esque. Yeah. Harry Maguire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, it was it, it was definitely one of them, and then that it was a great finish by McLaren. Nice little dink over the top. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean that's a classy striker. Yeah. You know when, when he's not going to give away that kind of opportunity, right? So um, they take they take the lead, obviously two 0 and and Western United get a really late one towards the end. Um, but Melbourne City haven't really <laughs> skipped a beat, as they no. say, in terms of, and they've probably been the most informed team over the last couple of seasons, with the exception of Sydney FC before that. Yeah. yeah. So you sort of expect that from from a Melbourne City side who also had a point to prove. Um, their new player Barisha, not the not the old Barisha, but the new Barisha, he was very vocal yeah, during the week, was. saying, "Hey, like we we almost win has this the game. same ment- mentality as the original, the original Barisha. Barisha yeah. He's already got the same mentality." And you see his interview at the end, yeah, yeah. fucking great. Or is already already uh, in the lingo of the of the Aussie, of the, Aussie league. the Aussie lingo, but, um, yeah, yeah. Look, he was great, and also uh, Scott Jamison, three hundred games. Yep. Congratulations to him. A-League yep. Games, I think it is. And um, yeah, look, he, he's got a win. Captain as well. Look, they're going to be a force to reckon with, in my opinion, Melbourne uh, Melbourne City. And, you know, with the, like, Lecky. Lecky, Lecky looks a bit, like, a lot more in shape. He looks a bit yeah, thinner, sharp. sharper. Um, maybe, that the, you know, the World Cup's around the corner and the boot as well. Yeah, yeah everyone's playing everyone's for places, fighting right? For, everyone's fighting for places. And when you've got Tilio, Tilio hanging about as well, and who's in the, is in the boot and... Um, Tilly on the same side or is it Lecky? Uh, no, I think, no, Naboo, I think Tilly, Naboo. Tilly plays left, doesn't he? From uh, but anyways, what, doesn't matter. Like there's, there's already competition within the team. Now it's competition oh, for, the, yeah, yeah. for the soccer. So what's that going to do for, for Melbourne City? Make him even stronger because everyone's just fighting for places Absolutely. as it is. Yeah. But hey, look, fantastic game. And I think it was a, it was a great game to... to um, to start off, start off the A League. Start off the round, yeah, absolutely. And then look, um, you know, moving on from that particular game, we went into the Brisbane Raw Macarthur game, um, which was meant, which for many people would have thought that would have been the Australia Cup final if it wasn't for yeah. Sydney United. That's right. Um, but uh, you know, uh, Charlie Austin, right? Charlie Austin, I think had um, had an influential game, and and you spoke about interviews. The, At the end, if you yeah. saw his one, yeah, 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 he. Mate, he's he he's serious. He's yeah. serious about being here. And whilst it was a nil or draw, I think um, Brisbane Raw probably did have the hit, better, have the the better chances. chances. Yeah. Maybe that maybe uh, Macarthur are a bit sluggish or well, not sluggish, but after the big game, big final, they probably yep. had a big week, a couple of days off, and then they're yeah. coming into the league. But um, yeah, like you're talking about the interviews, I thought the way he spoke in that interview and, and to talk about. The league in Australia as well. Yep. I mean the levels and all that. I know a lot of people give it a bit of stick, but you look at you look at some of the results this weekend and the performances of some of the teams. Yeah. Look, obviously, obviously, it's not going to be European st- like the quality, quality. But yep. 
I mean, it, at the end of the day, th- this is our league, and we gotta you gotta get out to support your teams, and it's, it's still entertaining. At the end of the oh, day, yeah, yeah. football it's not meant to be. I mean, all right, th- you got all the tactics and all that, but at, at the end of the day, bro, we go there to. It's all entertainment. Watch a game, yeah. Watch, watch a game. Watch it's all game. entertainment. Be, be entertained. Exactly. Be entertained. So um, and that's how what, exactly what we got. I didn't get a chance to watch that Macarthur Brisbane game, but saw a little bit of the highlights. There were a few chances for Brisbane. Maybe should have closed the game off. Um, yeah. Especially them chances inside, in in and around the box, bro. Where just ping ponging off defenders and all that. But look, Brisbane. I think again this season, in my opinion, they. They might struggle a little bit. Maybe Charlie Austin gets them over the line in a lot of the games. Yeah. But I think, again, losing a few players there this season. But you never know, bro. It, it did seem like a focal point on the weekend. Yeah. Um, it was for Brisbane, get the ball out wide, whipping crosses. Um, and, and that was that was pretty evident. Yeah. Um, MacArthur, maybe, like you said, probably grand final hangover. Yeah. But at the same time, I look back at MacArthur and I just think, because they played so much of the Australia Cup, did they and, and I think they... All the games they played to make the final away. were one were oh, away, away, but, they, but they yeah. weren't any A League teams. Exactly, and yeah. I think that that level of competition, that because they would have used that as a preseason, right? Exactly, and the fact that they didn't get any A League teams in that run um, probably speaks to the fact that they maybe weren't ready. But hey, nonetheless. You know, Australia Cup champions, you've got to give them respect. Um, Daniel Arzani didn't quite fit the bill on the weekend. Um, expecting a little bit more from him. Um, they copping a lot of stick, eh? Yeah. Do you reckon he's, des- like, a little bit deserved? Uh, like, to be honest, bro, like, when... Remember a couple of weeks ago, I, I showed you that. I don't know if I showed it to you, I tagged you, that TikTok where the guy goes to shake his hand. Oh, and he's yeah. like, oh, he shakes his hand because he feels the biggest flop in Australian football. And, like, I thought, I would have... Flight kicked him. I don't know. think it's deserved. I would have said, well, flopped it out in your mum. Yeah, well. But, you know. There you go. There you go. But you know what? Like, in that final against Sydney United, there was a little bit of arrogance to him, a little bit of cockiness. Yeah. And I'm like, this is why. I, it even looked like at times that he was copying it from his own fans when he was coming off. It looked yeah, like. I don't know yeah, if it was. Because yeah. they weren't. They weren't wearing any jerseys or any kits, but it just looked like a, a lot of MacArthur was, was supporters. Copping a, lot of, uh, copping a lot of flack. Yeah, so I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know what's to go with him. But if he just keeps a level head this season, yeah. um, anything can happen. Anything can think. happen. He can hit that form oh, look, before I, I, he went overseas. I think overseas. he'll get better. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, for, for round one, you know, probably probably wasn't up for it. Um, a nil or draw there, um, probably a fair result in the end. And then we move on to the uh, the big blue. Yeah, yeah. So this is where the Newcastle game got cancelled and um, no, big Ma- oh, Mariners yeah, yeah. got, got cancelled right. before that. You're right. Well, they, they were meant to well, play at the same five time. 5 o'clock kick-off. Oh, 5 o'clock, yeah. Yep. And um, yeah, that, that Central Coast Mariners pitch, the drainage every season, it's a swimming pool. So look. So uh, the water polo it, team comes out. It wasn't going to be an A-League start to the season without some sort of drama. Yeah. So we got the drama. We got the drama. A postponed game already. Yeah. Um, cause no they, postponements like, anymore, remember that? They this, said that. no midweek games, no Nothing this. Now was so the first game, good first lu- round. Good luck At least they've got a lot of time now. they got a lot of time. Yeah, and uh, I think maybe the, the World the Cup in and around. They get played during the World Cup. The one who's won on either if you look at If you look at both teams, like maybe the Cam Dog might go for Australia, but I don't know who else in them oh, two yeah. squads. Uh, yeah, I don't might think as well play it. It's only one player. <laughs> get yeah, it playing during the World Cup. It will be interesting. But yeah, look, like you said, the big blue. And again, this one didn't disappoint me. Match it around. Yeah, match it around for me. Um, like you, like you were about to say, did not disappoint. Yeah. Um, even considering the weather, it was a spectacle. Yeah. Like sometimes when it rains, first game at home for Sydney FC at their new stadium. At the new stadium as well, correct? Yeah. Um, they had a tifo, um, welcoming them home or yes. to their new home, and their future starts now. So. We'll see what we'll see what that means. There might be a season two of the documentary, the Sky Blue <laughs> documentary. But um, we're gonna try sneak in it somehow and do a bit of dodges. Get in there, yeah, behind the, the behind the camera, in the docker, behind the camera. Hey, we've got <laughs> connections. We've got we connections. We'll, we'll, make, we'll, we'll, make <laughs> we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. But no, like in terms of football, definitely the game around, entertaining. Um, what you'd expect from a, a big blue derby, um, and obviously the man Lewis Nani on show um, didn't get his goal. Good assist, assist, yeah, for Economides. For Economides, um, and he's playing his part. He's playing yeah. what, what, bro, what we thought would happen. <laughs> look, they look. Sydney FC gets off the mark. Yeah, it was um, a good goal. Um, it was a Mac the Slovak, yes. the commentator was. So it was a Simon Hill uh, or Slater, one of them. Um, they look. They got off to a start, but bros, like Melbourne victory. They they're on a. F- Fucking pop up, bro. Pop up. I don't know how he does it. Everywhere he goes, it just it just happens for him. Yeah. And that goal by um, D'Agostino, 
Bro, how are you oh. headering our 18 yard box header, top corner? With that much you, power. That's what I mean. That the neck muscles there. Jeez. Fuck. Like, come on, man. That was when that when that went in. I'm like, yeah. That was class. The, that yeah. was special. That was and, special. Um, nah, it was, it was. It was a little bit end to end. I think. Do you know what? I kind of at the start of the season, I would have thought Sydney FC would have been down there again. But even even if that, looking at that performance, obviously it's just round one. I think. <sighs> Over time, they might get back to yeah. some sort of level that they used to be. Um, they didn't play poorly. No, they didn't. They, they got didn't. outplayed. They got out, bro. Like they got yeah, outplayed. It's fucking bullshit, eh? Fucking Melbourne victory. Melbourne victory. They're yeah. a cheat team again, bro. Economides, um getting his goal, making a good run. Obviously, the Nani ball, but then, um, oh jeez, who got the last one? Uh, Brimmer. Bre- Brimmer. Brillante. No, who played for? Who played for? What do you call it? Is it Brillante? He played for Melbourne. Oh, no, no. He was a captain. Who was a captain? Yeah, Brillante. Sorry, it was Brillante. It was Brillante. Yeah, yeah. Another guy, what was the other guy from Sydney FC? He used to play for, he scored for Sydney FC. That he used to Don- play Donahue. for. Donahue. Yeah, he played yeah, for. He, he got the, he he got got the a good, Yeah, he got a, yeah. a decent header on, on, onto it as well. Tom, it was a two-all at the time? Yeah, two-all. Yeah, he made a two-all. He made a two-all. Um, yeah. Or was it two-one? No, he made a two-all. I'm pretty sure he made a two-all. There were so many goals. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. He made a, he made a two-all. Um... And he celebrated the goal pretty well. Yeah, his, his celebration that's it. sort of didn't know what to do. But hey, yeah, that's it, you know bro, what? That's you got to cheer up for it for a big blue man because that was the original. No loyalties in the A League, man. Oh, you go was, in. You that was the original Sydney versus Melbourne. Yeah, you that know, was the first kind of derby. Uh, derby yeah, yeah. that we had. Like obviously we had F three and whatever, but this was the big one because it was the two biggest clubs in the A League at the time. Um, and then look, yeah, obviously Brillante get, gets the gets the tap in um, towards the end. Oh, somewhat of a tap in, you know. It's that um, it's that FIFA type goal where it just comes across the face of the goalkeeper and you and you oh, put it yeah, in. Yeah. But what in terms of spectacle for the A League, it hit the mark. Um, both sets of fans really went at it, which yeah. was awesome. It'll be a big one next week with Western Sydney going down to get, going down yeah. to Melbourne Victory, and and again match it around in terms of goals, in terms of entertainment, in terms of the crowd, and just. Overall football, from a footballing perspective, Melbourne victory too good. Congratulations to them for picking up the points. I'm not complaining because then Sydney FC doesn't get any. So I'm, I'm happy in that regard. And then we move on to the Sunday games. So we had uh, Wellington, Wellington Phoenix with Adelaide United. Um, bit of a surprise for me, considering two things. I thought Adelaide United would be the stronger team. Yeah. But it was Wellington, obviously, at home in New Zealand. Yeah. Wellington pick up a red card. Um, I, I saw the bit, challenge. Yeah, so we didn't watch the game. We're on the way to the game. We're on the way to the. Yeah, Perth, I seen. Um, I did see. I did see that. It was a bit unlucky in yeah. a sense because he slipped. He's slipping over. Yeah. Um, but then his his end position is with his feet sort of up. Not much you can do. Yeah, I think exactly. Yeah. Um, but then he makes contact with the player, and I guess um, you could complain either way. It's either you know you could stay on the pitch, a pitch or not. But then Wellington, with 10 men, decide, All right, we're going to take this yeah, game to, get to Adelaide. Goal. Get a goal. Um, Very unlucky not to keep it at the end, though. Yeah, yeah. And, and look, I, I will say, even Wellington's goal, I'm going to be a little bit harsh on the Adelaide keeper. Should have um, got it. Should have got to there. I, I, I don't know. So just from my perspective, he, he makes the initial save. So dives, I think, to his right to make the initial save. Ball goes out in front of him. And instead of... Diving at the ball right with your hands out, with the hands out, he's decided to then go with his leg. I'm like, you've really got the momentum yeah, pushing. I always, that always say way. that about David De Gea. He always goes with his legs where he can easily go down and catch it. But it, I get what you mean. You got to be a little bit crazy to yeah. be a goalkeeper. But I reckon if you go back down on your right, you you stop that stop from that going one, in. And it doesn't matter. You know, Wellington put it in, and in true Adelaide fashion. Yeah. It's not a game until Adelaide score after the 85th minute. <laughs> and they and, and Ben Halloran, Again, hey. he just passes it into the back of the net and all of a sudden it's a one all. Yeah, they always do it, bro. Last season, how many times? But yeah, they did do it heaps of times last they season. Did, yeah, they were, they were yeah, known. Yeah. 85th minute 85th and minute onwards, pass. they were going to get one. It is what it is. Um, uh, a good point there. Disappointing for Wellington because they're at home. They were at home. They held yeah. on for so long. With 10 um, men. Because I think it came after 90 minutes, right, this one. 93rd minute, the goal. 93rd minute, right? So to do it with 10 men um, at home, you know, it's, it's been a while since they've been um, had consistent games at home. Um, and then, yeah, look, unlucky for one all. But then we wrap up we wrap up the round. Butcher and I got out there to Combank Stadium in Parramatta. I, was gonna, I went to pick up the three points. 
you're pretty confident, but I, I know deep down you sort of knew that the team wasn't quite where it needed to yeah, be. Yeah, yeah. Look, in my opinion, round one, you never know. You can, Like you said, I think you said that in, in the car, like you, it's round one. Like, why are you putting bets on round one? Because you never know who plays how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I still put a bet on. but You still put a bet on, but you know what I mean. On. But when, when you're when you got like, how, how much was that? Your cousin's ticket paying a, a few a few grand. Oh yeah, it was paying a couple of thousand dollars. And you're, you're relying on like Sydney FC and these yeah. guys if I can pull off a win. But um, yeah, look, anything can happen in round one. But yeah, look, going into this game, we're miss. I think we're missing a few few players, few starting players. But um, yeah, look, bro, I think both teams went out there to try not make any silly silly mistakes. And first half was a little bit of a cruise control. Yeah, you guys. Look, you guys, I think, are more dominant. Not that dominant where you guys controlled the whole game, but in terms of chances, in terms of uh, possession, ball movement. Ball yeah. movement um, like, I, I was, was, I was better, impressed yeah. from a West Sydney Wanderers perspective because we don't normally do that. Yeah, um, yeah. But knowing that we we're playing a Perth Glory side who came there off for a really bad season. Well, yeah. Correct, yeah. Came off a really bad season. Haven't recruited as well as Western Sydney. They've recruited well, but not we as have. well. We've got players in, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I, I still think they weren't the complete team. I don't think either team was the complete team yesterday. Yeah. But to walk away with three points at home from a Western Sydney Wanderers perspective is really big because we haven't done that in a very, very long time. Um, it'll build confidence because the crowd is going to Melbourne next week, right? Yeah. Um, you know, we've made it pretty clear to the club that the West Sydney Wanderers uh, fans are going to be travelling um, and you don't like to go down to Melbourne off the back of a loss or a draw. So getting the three points... Um, Kirpich, who ended up getting the goal, I still wasn't sold on him. I know there was a few <laughs> comments in a couple of different group chats around his quality. Um, yeah, 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 he's he going to grow into it he or he's going to yeah. be the next Cressinger. Um, so we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. He misses the penalty. Freaking ready. Played I don't know how many seasons for the Wanderers. Couldn't save a shot. He goes and saves a penalty against us. Mate, the, 40, the, the 41 year old, that's justice for that not being a penalty, in my opinion. Yep. Very, very soft. And look, so they, they're they given, sometimes they're not. Sometimes, you know, you, you go with it. I think, uh, to be honest, I think uh, Kolakowski sticks out a leg to try and win the ball. Mm. And who who was it that who was it that um, won the pen? I can't remember. Ramin Adjarin. Oh, he was fucked, bro. See, he was a headache when he came on. When he came on, the tempo completely changed. And I was telling the boys on RBTV, like, uh, bro, against against uh, victory, I think maybe he should start he over Yengi. Yeah. Yengi, I don't think he's he's fit yet. But I honestly um, thought Yengi was gonna be pushed up top, and then Kerpich yeah, would come then, off, then, and then yeah, Rami yeah, goes yeah. out wide. But I think his fitness levels way. are not are not the not the best yet. But yeah. yeah, look, to my opinion, not a penalty, but the forty one year old saves a pen diving, mate. mate. He still still got it. He w- he went before he hit it. Yeah, um, foot on the uh, line as well. For yeah. might have been stepped off, but it was on. on uh, from a striker's perspective, Borch, a good striker would have seen the keeper move yeah. and then change directions. And there was a lot of commentary around that when I watched. Um, uh, after you, yeah. after I got home, I watched the replay and then Bridge Jute and um, look if Nikovic is on the pitch, he, he probably doesn't take it. To be honest, that's true. Um, he came off just before. Yeah. Uh, Nikovic was a little bit quiet, in my opinion, in this game. Um, when he had the ball, he was okay. What about you and off? I loved I loved Bro, his performance, man. I think. I think he might have got man of the match, but he got he got voted man of the match by the by the club. Oh, okay, I, I think um, he got the ga- the the one for the game as well. I think. Did he? I don't know. Anyways, but like Somebody yeah, got it. he was yeah. He, I know Klu, he, was, he was, a good was in there. He he got two points. I know Kidpitch got one. I can't remember who got the three. It might yeah, have but been he, yeah he in that midfield, mate, solid, solid. And I think you guys needed oh, someone like him. Malfitano got the three points. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Which which wasn't a bad uh, midfield pairing, to be honest. Yeah. I thought I thought he did run out of legs towards the end. There was a few first straight game, passes. First but game. They had a few pre seasons, but you can't really it's judge. Like a, yeah, it's, it's nothing, nothing like, like the real game. actual A League match. But yeah, look, disappointing for my boys. You know, it is gonna be it is gonna be a long season for us. You know, somewhere at the bottom of the league, but we gotta we gotta build. It, it uh, looks exactly promising. Yeah. yeah, it looked promising. Yeah, at times it's just. Some of the crosses, corners, can't beat the first man. Decision making, too slow, too poor. Yep. Williams, uh, Ryan Williams in the first half, I dug my head in. Um, uh, David Williams, when he came on in the second half, looked a little bit more lively. Fauna Roli doesn't, you know, when you don't got that service, when you lose players That's like hard, Dag- D'Agostino, Economides, um, uh, Diego Castro, players mm-hmm. like that, Kianese throughout the years, Andy Keogh, uh, Daniel Sturridge. Yeah. <laughs> Daniel yeah, Sturridge. Yeah, Daniel Sturridge. No, nah, but like the, the other guys, if you, when you lose them, 
it's very hard to try yeah, it. and yeah. you don't replace them it, it's difficult but we move on we move on to next week yeah look uh, I, I think um it's not all lost for perth i still th- think it's early days they'll they'll find they'll find their form but um nonetheless i mean look at the end of the day one nil one nil you got to take that right yeah. could have been anything could have been anything um man. with kirpich missing one skying one over the bar he could have had a trick. penalty yeah yeah easy so hat trick for him could have been anything they did, they did well um but that was that was around obviously we had the the washout on the f3 so we only got through five matches but nonetheless a lot of entertainment in the league including um Chris Beast knocking into Ryan Grant in the uh, in the big blue. That was Mate, that was a good one to see. Body check there. Bit of a body check. Lucky he didn't get suspended. It was um it was in a playing in a different competition. He, he was cop eight had, weeks. He had the red shirt. Might as well give the red card out he to himself. Give him the red card off the ball. Let's do a quick preview um of of next week. We'll just go straight into the games and our predictions. Yep. Um. So Borch, we've on the Friday night we've got Brisbane Raw versus Melbourne City. No brainer, I think, bro. City. City. Yeah. I City. Think. City too will be tough. too strong. Be um, too strong. As but then as again, squad. We, we said that last season, and uh, Brisbane Raw gave him a bit of headache. Yeah. Bit, of, bit of headache. Yeah. yeah. Um, then you've got your boys, Borch, but Mate, away we, we to do, we do Newcastle. Good, we do good in Newcastle. Yeah. Over my time of watching him, Newcastle was a, a fixture that would drive down or drive up wherever circle we're going. It. Circle it, and we we come back with the three points, and I think. I think we get it this time. Obviously, we don't know how um, Newcastle play, but I'm yeah. going for the three points. Let's I'm going to tip a draw. Um, then Saturday night, oh, Melbourne victory versus Western Sydney Wanderers. I'll be down there the in, in Melbourne. Um, it's going to be a battle on the pitch. On battle on the pitch, battle on, on, in, the, in the stands, in the, stands well, in the terraces yeah. as well. So, um, What do you think, Butch? Bro, I can't, I can't say I can't say it past uh, victory, mm-hmm. to be honest. But... The way Rudin has got the players set up, very compact off the ball, could could snatch a draw. You yep. could snatch a draw, but I'd love to see a few goals in these both sides, keep it keeping it even, get the fans get the fans involved for the ninety minutes. But I can't see I can't see um, nothing but a, a victory but a, win. But a W yeah. for the victory. Yeah, Look, unfortunately. Um, what I will say is that if we play the way we played on the weekend, we'll get done. Um, so yeah, we've got to lift exactly, our game. Exactly, we've got to yeah. lift our game. If we lift, could be anything. Um, but the way based on based on round one results, I'm not going to say where I'm leaning, but we just can't rock up the same way. Yeah, that's it. Right? Skip right past that one. No worries, yeah, Kev. No worries. That one. <laughs> three one, three one, West Sydney. Um, Sunday, three games on Sunday. I'll go for a draw here. Phoenix Central Coast. I'll go for a draw. Yeah, I, I think that's a that's a fair call there. Macarthur Adelaide. Ooh. I'll go for Adelaide win. Okay, on paper I'm saying Macarthur. Yeah, um, but I, I I didn't really capture the Adelaide game enough to, for me to say you know, exactly. either way. And then Western mm. United and Sydney FC. Oh, wow, you know what? Do you know what? I I I think Sydney FC can get the win here, bro. I don't think I don't think Western are ready ready yet. I don't know how Priovic is their focal man up front. Maybe maybe if he's not playing, they could Sydney FC could get the win, bro. I'm gonna call it a draw. Yeah. We'll see. It's it's one of those. I, th- I don't think it's gonna be a massive um, gap. Gap, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's like it could be a one nil or a one all or a two one or something. It'll be it'll be tight. I think a draw's not a bad shout because I was even surprised without the mistakes that they um, they made on the weekend. Yeah. Uh, Western Western United, they've they been solid. Okay. They've been solid in the back last season all year. Yeah, yeah except for that Phoenix game when they got five past yeah. them or something. But yeah. they're winning games by one goal. Yeah, or, or well, always a new. They're, they're a yeah. good, good back line, keeping yeah. clean sheets. So it'll be interesting to see what happens here with our uh, Sydney FC. Yeah, well, look, we've done round one. We've previewed round two. Uh, Borch, thanks for joining me on the, on the show. Pleasure like always, mate. And uh, look, for everybody out there, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.